sorry. I haven't slept too well the last couple of days. On account of all this rain we've been having. Wait, what are you all doing here? Has something happened? Well, uh, thank you, gentlemen. I'll think about that when my vacation's over. Sorry I'm a little late. Something came up. Yep, <laughs> I sure did. No big deal, though. People like to criticize those who don't fit in. It's the same everywhere. If a little private gossiping helps them let off some steam, well, good for them. It does no harm to the Kamisato clan. Wouldn't you agree? Oh? I'm touched that that's how you see the situation. I don't think we need to go down that route, though. In any case, as a housekeeper, it's hardly my place to get all high and mighty with other staff in the Yashiro Commission. But you're my guest and I live to serve, so if you have any other thoughts on the matter, please do share them with me. I'm willing to give anything you suggest a shot, as long as it's a serious suggestion, of course. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you right here. Just come and find me if you need anything. Oh, that whole situation, huh? <laughs> I heard a thing or two about it. I was planning on finding some time to sort it out after entertaining you. <sighs> it's hard to say for sure. I need to talk with the guy first. Since this has piqued your interest, how about we head over there together? Still, the original plan here was to focus on your enjoyment, not rope you into the trials and tribulations of the Yashiro Commission. Ah, <laughs> so that's your goal here. Well, if that is what you really want, I'd better give this my best shot. Hello again. You almost make it sound like I planted something and framed you. Those goods were defective, you know that, right? Oh, come on, boss. This is all a little heartless. Besides, aside from the Yashiro Commission, no one else buys ceremonial items. Surely resolving this dispute swiftly is in your interest, too. <sighs> Looks like we can't come to an agreement, then. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that he doesn't intend to discuss this any further. I guess his time in the police station didn't make for happy memories. Uh, no need. I can't say I think much of the way Yusaku was acting, but ultimately, the issue here lies with the Yashiro Commission. We were the ones who lost the goods, so the responsibility is on us to find a solution. Otherwise, even if we write this out, the Yashiro Commission's reputation will take a huge hit. Uh, let's go. There are a few people I want to introduce you to. A friend. They're not a connection, if that's what you're thinking. Just a regular friend. No vested interests here. I originally wanted to take her out for some downtime, but we've ended up mired in commission-related complications. Hmm. Well, I remember the last time we spoke, you were grumbling about a lack of iron ore. Have you made any progress on that front? Sounds like now you have the opposite problem. More iron ore than you know what to do with. I see. Well, would you mind if I gave you a couple of tips? As it happens, I'd noticed that shipments of iron ore had recently picked up. I looked into it a little and managed to get a sense of which sellers had the quality stock, which offered competitive prices, and so on. These two are veterans of the business. Regular sales, quality stock, but their price is a little steep. I think you could talk them down, though. I'd say to around 80% of what they've quoted you. This one sprung up out of nowhere recently in Rito. Their approach is high volume, small profit margins. The quality's not too bad, but there's always a few duds, so you'd need to inspect the goods thoroughly upon receipt. This one grabbed a loan and leapt straight onto the bandwagon. In their haste, I fear they may have ended up with the mixed bag as far as quality is concerned. Given that their price isn't particularly competitive either, I wouldn't consider them if I were you. <laughs> to be completely upfront, this is really quite important to me, so your help in this regard would be greatly appreciated. No problem. We'll be back before you know it. <laughs> I guess you have a few questions. I'll explain everything later, but it looks like we'll need to get to work pretty soon. Hi there. Yasutake commissioned us to come and assist with the delivery. Nope, this is between us and Yasutake. He's the one you should be thanking, if anyone. All right, let's do this. <sighs> All right, I think we can leave the goods here. The route should be safe from here on out. <sighs> we'll be heading off now. <laughs> All in a day's work. Come on, let's go. Worry no more, good sir. Your goods have been safely delivered. 
Ah, that rings a bell. Not a problem. I'll be there. Huh, is that so? It sounds like I should go talk to him then. Uh, thanks again for all your help. Much obliged. Hey, this problem is halfway solved. That was the quartermaster of the Tenryo Commission. He's in charge of all of their procurement, and also responsible for keeping their weapon supplies intact. Making weapons involves purchasing raw materials, so he's the key decision maker in all the related trade in iron ore. The iron ore trade is actually what I was discussing with him just now. On the surface, not a whole lot, I'll admit, but you'll see very shortly. But before that, time to go visit another old friend of mine. Really? Why? Is there a problem? But as I recall, the only reason he was entitled to such a long period was because at the outset, he had a business relationship with the Yashiro Commission. So, if we sever ties with him, surely he'd have to pay you back right away. <laughs> Come on now, let's work something out. Weren't you after some Noctiluctus Jade last time we spoke? We can put our heads together and get a hold of some for you. For starters, I'd say that's plenty for now. You don't want to go biting off more than you can chew, right? Great. All right, let's go and find some. Okay, is this enough? Don't you worry. Unless you've got plans to cause trouble for the Yashiro Commission, the future looks bright for all our future dealings. <laughs> Don't worry. People whose attention is always focused on other people's weaknesses tend to expose their own weaknesses pretty easily. Uh, let's head back to the Yashiro Commission headquarters. <sighs> Since you've promised not to sneak in any fakes this time around, go ahead with the shipment. Once we've inspected the goods, and if all's in order, I'm sure whatever problems you're presently facing will quickly disappear. You see what I mean? Getting things settled as soon as possible is in everyone's best interest. <sighs> Alright, with that taken care of, let's get out of here. Okay, the floors are done. Next, I need to dust down the railings. I only took one day off, but look how much dust has gathered. <sighs> this is what I mean when I say cleaning is a daily chore. You remember what he said, don't you? His goods could go unsold, and it wouldn't bother him. So, the solution in this case was to cut off his main line of business and make him really feel the heat. The Yashiro Commission doesn't have the authority to meddle in the business world, but as it happened, I knew a few of his major customers, so I sorted it out privately. When he realized he couldn't shift his product, had no source of revenue, and wouldn't be able to pay off his loan, he suddenly felt the pressure. Then, I just had to make sure he caught wind of what the cause of his problems was, so he'd seek us out to make an apology. It's no big deal. I've dealt with plenty of situations like this in the past. I know you'd like people to look up to me more, but it doesn't bother me all that much. I'm just the housekeeper of the Kamisato clan. Reputation isn't all that important to me. On the contrary, having too good of a reputation can be restrictive. You feel indignant for my sake when you hear people spreading gossip about me, don't you? That says that in your mind, I'm not the kind of person they say I am. For me, that's enough. All I need is for the people I'm close with to know the real me. Thanks for your help in averting a potential crisis for the Yashiro Commission. I owe you one. I'll have to entertain you again sometime. Ah, <laughs> Plus, I didn't get very far with entertaining you this time around, so I guess I owe you two. I have Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> exactly. Or today, it's time for a hard-earned rest. There's been so much to deal with since I got out of Komori Tea House. Oh man, this vacation's been a long time coming. Uh, there's too much going on here. Let's find somewhere more peaceful to discuss the plan for the day. You're still my guest after all, and I'd like to hear your ideas. I keep thinking, since I'm the host here, we ought to do something you'll enjoy. But despite that, I still haven't got a clear plan on where to take you. <laughs> so, what do you usually prefer? Indoor or outdoor activities? Sounds like a plan. I don't really feel like spending my day running all over the place either. In which case, let's head to Komori Tea House. There's nowhere better to sit and chat quietly with a pot of tea. I'll head over there right now and get a few things prepared. Come and join me when you're ready. Oh, uh, welcome. It must have been a while since you were last here. 
Uh, since it's about time to eat, I couldn't resist whipping up a little something for us. So please, help yourself. I hope you enjoy it. And <laughs> I can't claim to compete with the likes of Uyu Restaurant Chef, but I think I did all right. Uh, what's wrong? You look shocked. Whoa, whoa, there's been a misunderstanding. I admit, I may have added a few weird things to that hot pot, but it was just a game. For normal meals, I cook normal dishes. I am a housekeeper after all. <laughs> Wouldn't have gotten very far without a few culinary skills. Anyway, please dig in. I won't get the chance to cook for you like this every day. <laughs> well, seems like my cooking has your seal of approval. You're welcome. When you're out adventuring on your own, you've got to maintain your quality of life. Take your cape, for example. I definitely see one or two loose threads there. If you ignore them, sooner or later the whole seam is going to come undone, and then you'll have a really tough time mending it. Let me sew it up for you later. I'm pretty handy with the needle and thread. Speaking of housekeeping, I can say with confidence that you won't find anyone as handy around the home as I am. Cleaning, cooking, and mending are among my greatest strengths. <laughs> you can always feel free to hand me jobs like this. Hmm? What is it? Wait, you're suggesting I teach housekeeping to the Ashiro Commission staff? Uh, I'm not sure it would work. I doubt anyone would sign up for that class. I just don't think it's realistic to change people's perception of me just by showcasing my housekeeping skills. <laughs> I'm surprised that whole matter is still troubling you, actually. With that being said, finding an opportunity to share some housekeeping wisdom with the Yashiro Commission would certainly be in people's best interests. <sighs> Life maintenance is important. You have to look after yourself if you're going to bring your best self to your work. You know what? Let's give it a try. But first, how do you think I should promote it? You think so? In that case, I need to prepare. If I'm going to end up with a lot of students, I should make sure I have all the supplies I need for the class. Tables and chairs I can sort out easily enough, but I'll need to stock up on materials and ingredients for the textiles and cookery segments. Are you sure? That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, let's see. To start with, I'll be needing lavender melon, fowl, and flour. Once we have all our essentials, we can figure out the next steps. I really hope everything goes smoothly. Great! That's all the ingredients we need. Time to hit the streets and launch our grand advertising campaign. As it happens, I know someone in town who runs a textiles business. I'm sure she must know lots of people interested in housekeeping. So, let's pay her a visit. <laughs> it sounds interesting. I'll take a look. But the main reason I'm here today, though, is to pick your brain about something. Well, we're thinking of starting a housekeeping class. Problem is, I'm not sure where to go looking for students. So I was wondering if you might help me spread the word. Among other things, I'll be teaching some handy sewing techniques. So, providing everything goes smoothly, I'll be needing to buy quite a lot of fabric from your store. Do you think you'd be able to lend a hand? Yuko. Hmm. I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere before. So, she has an interest in housekeeping? Great! Thanks for all your help, Miss Ogura. Alright, let's go try our luck with Yuko. Uh, hello ladies. Might I ask which one of you is Yuko? I'm Toma, the housekeeper for the Ashiro Commission. We're looking to start a housekeeping class at the Commission headquarters. I was just wondering whether that might be something that interests you. That's right, yes. We'll be teaching a whole bunch of handy housework tips and tricks. Sweeping, mopping, laundry, cookery, you know, that sort of thing. All based on my years of experience as a housekeeper. The class is free, of course. The only cost to you is the materials used during the class. Well, I'll be straight with you ladies. I believe the classes are free for a limited time only, right, Traveler? So far, attendance has been a little on the slow side, so we decided to start offering free trial classes. In other words, we won't charge you for the first few classes you attend. After the trial period comes to an end, and if you're still satisfied with the results, you can book more classes for yourself and complete the rest of the course. I'll be sure to give you a favorable price. Oh, not at all. It's open to people of all genders and ages. 
the way I see it, housework comprises an essential set of skills that no one could afford to be without. You've got to know how to look after yourself. Life should come before work, don't you think? All right, I'll see if I can convince the older folks to come along and make up the numbers. I will do my very best. As housekeeper for the Kamisato clan, I've been honing my craft for a long time now. I believe I'm up to the task. What can I say? We'll be honored to have you in attendance, sir. <sighs> well then, that will probably just about do it as far as promotion is concerned. Let's head back to the Yashiro Commission. <sighs> to be honest, with this being my first time holding a class, I've got no idea how many people to expect. I just hope it goes well. <sighs> anyway, tonight I'll set up the tables and chairs, then tomorrow we can meet back at the Yashiro Commission headquarters. So, what do you think the turnout will be like? I sure hope so. We promoted it pretty hard, after all. This is the weirdest feeling. Housekeeping has always been something I do alone, but now I'm about to face a class full of students. <laughs> You'd better show up to class tomorrow. Welcome, one and all. This is my first time teaching a housekeeping class, just as I'm sure it's your first time attending one. I'd like to start from the theory, if I may, and talk a little bit about why mastering the discipline of housekeeping is such an important thing. The way I see it, housekeeping is a unique skill set that empowers you to set your life in order. Nowhere are these skills more pertinent than in the context of a marital relationship. In a marriage, the lives of two people become closely intertwined. If you can't look after yourself properly, that burden ends up being shouldered by your partner. This, in turn, will start to take a toll upon the relationship with... Um... Huh? What are you doing here? <laughs> well, hello, and welcome. Now that you're here, I expect you to pay attention and work hard. Well, let's keep going. Housekeeping is not difficult, per se. The difficult part is consistency, keeping on top of it over a long stretch of time. To keep up with housework on an ongoing basis, you either have to love everything about it, or you need a few tricks up your sleeve to make things easier. So, for today's topic, we're going to focus on how to make light work of housework. Um, excuse me, you over there, focus, please. I like to see active engagement in my lessons. That is, unless some of you are looking to stay behind after class to catch up. You know what? Let's give... All right, then. If we're only opening this up to the Yashiro Commission staff, it shouldn't take too much preparation. Tables and chairs I can sort out easily enough, but we'll need to think some more about how exactly to promote this. Let's start by asking around at the Yashiro Commission headquarters. Oh, no problem at all. You can join whenever you like. Sure. Let's go pay her a visit. <sighs> Let's hope this goes smoothly. Oh, not at all. We were just thinking of starting a housekeeping class. I like Furuta's suggestion, and it's not like we have a better idea anyway. In which case, heck, why not? Let's showcase the appeal of housekeeping for all in the Yashiro Commission to see. Let's get started. And the flowers will really flourish now that the weeds are gone. While we're here, though, we should water the trees. The whole Yashiro Commission looks as good as new. We had a lot of spectators, huh? <laughs> I wonder if we managed to get any of them interested. 
Either way, thanks for your help. I usually handle all of this stuff on my own, but having you join me today was a pretty great experience. Well, here's hoping. I'll set out some tables and chairs tonight. I've got no idea how many people will show up tomorrow. <sighs> Make sure you get some good rest tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome! <laughs> Don't be too upset. This is normal. With things like this, you can't expect to change people's views overnight. It takes time and effort. Well then, it looks like I'm all yours for this class. I mentioned earlier about sewing up your clothes for you, didn't I? I also want to take this opportunity to teach you how to knit a sweater. That way, you'll be able to make yourself some warm clothes before the winter comes. <laughs> the fact that you're so ready to look out for me has already made me very happy. But really, it doesn't bother me at all. Once in a while, someone takes issue with my background, interests, or the nature of my work. And that's okay. You can't expect everyone in life to see things the way you do. People are always going to talk. It's in their nature, and you can't do much to stop them. I don't mind what they say about me. What I care about is the well-being of the Kamisato clan. But that's enough about all that. <laughs> Come on, grab your needle and let's get knitting. Let's start with the classic stockinette stitch. First, wrap the yarn around, pull it through here, then hang it on the needle. Put your thumb on the yarn here, index finger here, and pull it tight. You learn pretty quick, but you need to pay close attention to this. Exactly, just like that. Now, set yourself a small goal to start with. For example, knit a scarf by the time winter arrives. Scarves are always a great choice. When it's finished, you can either wear it yourself or gift it to a friend. <laughs> Just imagining it warms my heart. I keep thinking, since I'm the host here, we ought to- But despite that, so, what do you usually- You want to go out for a stroll? <laughs> Perfect! I have a couple of places I was going to recommend. If you like cats and dogs, there's a great place I can take you. I go there pretty much every time I have a day off. You can't help but be in a good mood when you're surrounded by cute animals. Feeling that, we could go downtown if you'd prefer. Narukami Island will be packed right now, so we could go to Rito instead. <laughs> Back to where we first met. I haven't been there in a long time, actually. Which one are you feeling? It's up to you. <laughs> okay, let's go straight there. I know Rito pretty well, so I'll give you the grand tour. Today's a rare day off, so above all, let's enjoy ourselves. Ah, <sighs> I haven't been to Rito in a long time, but it feels like the place hasn't changed at all. Then again, a long time for humans is a blink of an eye for the natural environment. Makes me wonder, what is Mondstadt like these days? Yeah, uh, I actually grew up there. Later, my father moved back to Inazuma, and then we never heard from him. I wanted to take him some dandelion wine, so I took the boat here from Mondstadt. Unfortunately, we hit a huge storm on the way, which sank the boat. I fell unconscious, but was somehow lucky enough to float the rest of the way to Inazuma, on debris from the wreckage. Oh, uh, I'll spare you the rest for now. <laughs> um, let me take you around. This is a branch of the Chuyu Trading Company, based in Liyue. They sell ore from that region. I'm guessing you would have seen shops that look like this over there. Hmm... I think both suit you very nicely. Ah, to heck with it. How often do we get to do this? We'll take them both. But you've got to be fair to us with the price, ma'am. My friend here is actually from Liu. It looks very reasonable. Deal. Now then, let me take you somewhere else. <sighs> this is the Sailing Breeze, a purveyor of Mondstadt wines. As it turned out, one of the first things that greeted me here when I arrived wasn't my father, but wine from my hometown. It must be said though, the wines here aren't quite up to the Don Winery standard. Back when my father was still in Mondstadt, he used to talk fondly of the Angel Share. 
Of course, I was still a kid back then, <laughs> so I never did get to join him for a drink. And now that I'm actually old enough, the opportunity is gone. Uh, I hope so. You've been to Mondstadt, right? I assume you've been to the Angel Share? I hear the owner's quite a formidable businessman. Given the chance, I'd love to meet him. When that day comes, we should also grab a drink. Uh, wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Maybe when you're older. Ah, here we are. Bet this takes you back, huh? I'm sure he's getting by. He wrote me not long ago, actually, asking me to deal with the situation for one of the merchants. Kurisu works tirelessly to maintain some sort of order within the business world, despite the entire industry being less than ideal. Must be tough for the guy. <sighs> I hope everything gets back to normal as soon as possible. I don't believe we've met, and if there's a gift involved here, I'm not sure I've earned it. Is there something I can do for you? Something you thought I might like? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you managed to cater to my taste perfectly. I humbly accept your gift. Keep up the good work in your line of business, and if you have any further problems, feel free to come find me. You too. Goodbye. Pretty high energy guy, huh? You want to try? This store is indeed renowned in Inazuma. In fact, demand is so high that it's very difficult to come by their products. They're all handmade by top chefs, and the flavor is as authentic as it gets. <laughs> you flatter me. The store is at least a few decades old, and the chefs who make these have been at it their whole lives. Not sure my ability is on par with that. But if you're happy to be my taste tester on a regular enough basis, maybe one day I'll be able to reach their level. Okay, that about wraps up our nostalgia trip to the International Trade Association. I think we've seen just about everything there is to see in the city. Let's keep heading this way. We don't get to hang out all that often. It'd be a shame to head back so soon. <sighs> I come to this place every time I visit Rito. The view here isn't as spectacular as on Narukami Island, but if you're looking for a relaxing spot, you can't beat this one. I believe that the Sakoku Decree will be repealed one day, and this place will flourish again like it did in the old days. When the winds of freedom finally blow away the gloom, I think I'll have to ask my lady for a long vacation so I can take a trip back home. <laughs> Alright, time to call it a day. Let's head back. Hmm? Not ready to leave yet? But come to think of it, I do have a couple more places I could take you. <laughs> oh, there's no need for that. The whole reason I took you out was to thank you for all the help you gave us during the Vision Hunt Decree. As long as you enjoyed yourself, that's all I could ask for. You don't have to give me a gift. Really? Okay, well, now I'm excited. Oh, my. It's... <sighs> this really... Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I'm a little lost for words. This gift is... invaluable. Oh, I know, but I don't mean its material value. I'm talking about its value to me specifically. Um, let me put it this way. The confectionery I received from that merchant earlier, thoughtful gift, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, I know it's mostly transactional. I helped him out, so it's standard procedure for him to get a gift from me in return. Also, he picked a brand of fancy confectionery that he thought would meet me at my level, and make it easier for him to approach me with any future requests. If you lend Mora to someone, you can guarantee that any gift you receive in return will have been chosen according to its material value. But the gift you just gave me can't be weighed in the same terms. Oh, uh, okay, well, um... At least take this in return. It's an omamori I always carry with me. Again, nothing expensive. But it can bring the bearer good luck. Seriously, I'm not making that up. My father told me. He gave it to my mom, and she gave it to me just before I came to Inazuma. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this omamori was the only reason I survived the storm and made it to Inazuma in the first place. Whatever the truth of it is, I'd like you to have it.
Which one are you feeling? It's up to you. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd pick that one. Nice to know we share the same interests. There's a Sakura tree in Hanamizaka where I go to feed them. Let's meet there in a short while. I need to grab a few things, though. Can't go there empty-handed. This is a pretty good spot, right? There are tons of stray cats and dogs here at the outskirts. Every time I come to Kamori Tea House, I bring some food for them. It just sort of became a tradition over time. At first, it was a bit of a chore, but the more time I spent with them, the more I came to enjoy it. You think so? Well, feed them enough times and I'm sure you'll win their affection too. Not only that, you'll also start to feel that they're your responsibility. Whenever you have any free time, you'll find yourself desperate to come and visit them. Why don't you try feeding them? I brought some of their favorite food just so you could get into their good graces. <laughs> don't worry, I've trained them to not be aggressive toward humans. They'll still run away if they find someone threatening, but I'm pretty sure they'll like you. You're an approachable person, and they can tell. Animals are very sensitive to these things. Well, that didn't take long. Look at that! Best buds already! Some of the dogs are even showing their bellies. That's a sign that they really trust you. Uh, well, <laughs> you'll rarely see Tarumaru roll onto his back, though. He's a ninja dog, so he's always on guard in case an enemy approaches. Speaking of ninja dogs, I actually saw one the other day on the beach north of Konda Village. Uh, well, that's the thing. They rarely go off on their own. Usually, they stick with their human ninja partners. After retiring, most ninja dogs are taken in by their partner, or sometimes someone else in the Yashiro Commission will take them in. It's extremely rare to find them on their own in the wild, so it makes me a little concerned. <laughs> Believe me, I wanted to bring it back to the Yashiro Commission, but it wouldn't let me. I tried establishing some trust by petting it on the head, but it gave me a nasty bite. Still, I don't want to give up on it. Nobody really goes out that way, and I don't know what it would have to eat out there. That would be great. Even though it's not the most approachable dog, I still want to give it another try. It seems to sit in the same spot on the beach all day, only moving to take a few paces back when the tide comes in. Last time I saw it, its fur was soaking wet. Ultimately, bringing it back to the Yashiro Commission is going to be a lot better for it than leaving it sitting out in the elements all day. Or, we could even bring it back to Komori Tea House to make friends with Toromaru. <laughs> well, let's see if we even get that far. Oh, uh, see it? It's that one, just up ahead. Judging by the breed and apparel, it definitely is a ninja dog from the Shimatsuban. It's looking a little more docile today. Shall we try and get closer? Oh, uh, you should stay a few paces behind me. I know it looks calm, but if it gets riled up, it could pounce and bite in an instant. Uh, 
Uh, here, doggy. Good doggy. You hungry, my friend? I brought you a nice little snack. <coughs> oh, you're a vicious little thing, aren't you? He almost bit me again. Look at you, wasting away. You must want to eat a little something. You don't have to come back with us, but come on. A dog's gotta eat, right? You're not worried it's poisoned, are you? But here, I'll take the first bite. Hmm. See? Delicious and poison-free. Come on, just have a bite. A little tiny bite. And then I'll leave you alone. How's that sound? Uh, looks like it has zero intention of eating the food we brought. Is it just me, or does it look kind of on edge? Maybe it's something in the sea, or something nearby that's got him on alert. You think he was attacked by monsters? Hmm, it's possible. People do tend to lose their appetite in dangerous situations. Maybe it's the same for dogs, too. Let's clear out the area on behalf of our canine companion here. Thanks for helping out. This place should be a little more tranquil now. Oh, here, doggy. Look, no more danger. You've got to want to eat a little something now. Come on, eat up. Then let's get you back to Komori Tea House. Whatever's on your mind, you can tell me and Tarumaru all about it. <sighs> Rejected again. And there I was thinking that I was the one it didn't like. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so on edge around you too. <sighs> well, to me this proves that it simply doesn't want to leave this place. For now, let's not force it. Time to head back to the Ashiro Commission headquarters. I'll see if I can find its owner, so they can come and collect it. That's right! The Shumatsuban only answered to the Ashiro Commissioner, Kamisato Ayato. Under most circumstances, no one else has the authority to inquire into their business. However, I was talking to Commissioner Ayato a while back, and he agreed to let me bend the rules in exceptional circumstances. That doesn't mean I can mobilize the Shumatsuban to do my bidding, of course. But I'll be able to get the intel we need, no problem. It's sort of a prerogative I have. <coughs> oh, alright, there's a good dog. Calm down. We're not gonna take you away. It's much safer here now, see? We're gonna leave now. Make sure to give yourself a good rest. <sighs> alright, let's go. A red Shiba, with the scar in its eye, dressed in black stealth wear. Perfect! Now that we've figured out his identity, we can get his owner to go and collect it. Uh, I should add, it's never good to have dogs run away like this. The poor thing's out there all on his own with no real food or shelter day and night. So, shall we go find the owner and see if they have time to fetch him? Did Inu Shosho's owner leave anything behind? You know, any personal items or a Shumatsuban uniform, perhaps. <sighs> Thank you kindly. Let's just hope Inu Shosho remembers the sense of this kunai. Then again, I'm certain he will. Let's go pay Inu Shosho another visit. Hey. <sighs> I know, I know. How come this strange man suddenly knows your name? You're waiting for your master to come home, aren't you? Mind if we wait with you? Don't worry, we're not looking to suddenly whisk you away. Uh, look at this. Do you know what it is? <laughs> As I thought, you remember. Excellent. It looks like what he needed wasn't for us to take him away, but for us to accompany him. <sighs> you know, I sometimes did this too when I first arrived in Inazuma. I just stood on the beach, looking out at the horizon. Everyone has people and events from their past that they look back on fondly. I guess we only grow when we realize that those things aren't coming back. <sighs> the Shumatsuban is not a peaceful organization. <laughs> and being a ninja is an extremely dangerous profession. Many of the Shumatsuban's ninjas have paid the ultimate price in the course of carrying out top secret missions. The Shumatsuban never discloses their identities, and doesn't publicly commemorate them. But at least now, Inu Shosho, you're not the only one in the world who remembers him. 
from today onward, we will join you in honoring his memory. <laughs> I think that means deal, right? <laughs> hey, in the future, let's try and come back here from time to time, when we get the chance. Maybe we could build a little kennel for him? In the long term, being out in the cold and wet like this could start to cause joint problems. I could make some winter clothes for him, too. In fact, I'd better get started. It's extremely rare to find them on their own in the wild, so it makes me a little concerned. <laughs> Believe me, I wanted to bring it back to the Yashiro Commission, but it wouldn't let me. I tried establishing some trust by petting it on the head, but it gave me a nasty bite. Still, I don't want to give up on it. Nobody really goes out that way, and I don't know what it would have to eat out there. That's probably a good idea. It was in a very aggressive mood the last time I saw it. I'm worried it might bite you if we tried to approach it, though. Let's wait until it's in need before going to its aid. That's probably safer. But back to our other animal friends. Now that the weather's getting colder, I'm wondering whether I should knit some sweaters for these strays. Problem is, most of them don't actually like being touched, so I can't take their measurements very easily. That's not a bad idea! We could take photos of them from different angles, then work out their measurements by using other objects in the picture as a reference. See? You're the real fixer here. Let's give it a try. Well, I think we've got enough photos now. I can't get over how cute they are. They're just adorable, aren't they? I'll have to think carefully about what kind of sweaters to knit for each of them. The color should be complimentary. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's buy some yarn from the next store we pass. You know, the first time I came here, there was just one stray dog on its own. I still remember the first time I fed it. It was a rainy day. The Kamisato clan had just introduced a series of new policies, but a few of the more stubborn clan elders were extremely resistant to the changes. I was holding my umbrella on my way to visit one such gentleman of senior status. The plan was to talk him into supporting the clan's decision. Sadly, he wasn't interested in having a conversation. He didn't even let me in. As soon as he saw me coming, he got his samurai to send me away. I mean, I fixed it in the end, of course. It's just that the first few visits didn't go so smoothly. So, anyway, after they turned me away, the weather went from bad to worse. The wind was so strong it rendered my umbrella completely useless. Before long, I was drenched from head to toe. I must have looked like a real mess. I decided to take shelter under a tree and found a stray dog sitting there who had the same idea as me. It saw me and moved a little further in, like it was trying to make room for me. So we sat there together, I shared my onigiri with it, stone cold by this point, uh, but still edible, and we ended up huddling together, waiting for the rain to stop. As far as the big shots are concerned, I'm just an expendable servant boy. I always have to be mindful about what they might want, and what I can do for them in return. But when I'm with these little guys and gals, everything's so much simpler. One stone cold onigiri, and hey presto, <laughs> we're friends for life. Even when I show up empty-handed, they still come to me. 
When it comes down to it, I think it's these simple and straightforward connections that I value the most. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Ended up giving you the unabridged version. <laughs> Shall we come visit this place again some other time? Great. I'll see you soon. Oh, so sleepy. I had some things I needed to do, so I ended up burning the midnight oil to get those sweaters knitted. I wonder if they'll actually suit them, though. Hmm. Let's start by testing them out on the friendlier ones. This one's for Petal. Oh, and uh, this one's for Darko. And this one's for Goldilocks. <sighs> With any luck, that should see them through the winter. Then, come the spring, a new year will begin. And they'll be free to roam the wilds once again. <sighs> you know, if you take one day at a time and be kind to the world, good things will come your way eventually. That might sound a bit naive, but I really do believe it. At least, it seems to have worked for me, you know? 